Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Ice Flows and Foes by Keep Exploring Games. The game plays two to six players, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Ice Flows and Foes, you are going to be the daring uh, adventurer in the Arctic. Your objective is to protect the seals and the whales and remove the boats and the fishermen slash poachers. Yes, you are going to be an eco-activist protecting the Antarctic fields. Now, of course, in this game, it's going to play very differently comparatively to some of the other dexterity games you may have heard of, and I'll explain how that goes below. But your objective mainly is to gather certain pieces of the ice and press it onto the board. You'll be pushing it onto the board and hopefully pushing off pieces that you want and keeping pieces on the board that you do not want to get rid of. Your objective is to remove five hunters and or five boats from the board and the first player to do so is the winner. Will you be able to direct the ice and place it into the right locations, thusly removing the um, tragic dangerous as aspects of the Antarctic waste? Or will you be hurting the uh, wildlife and of course the sea life in this game of dexterous competition? Let me show you down below what the game looks like, how it is played, and then of course my review for the game Ice Flows and Foes currently on Kickstarter. Welcome to the setup of Ice Flows and Foes, uh, currently set up for any number of players. Yes, uh, this is the way you set it up. It doesn't matter how many number of players you're playing with. To start off with, you'll place all five of the plus button uh, tokens or tiles in the middle of the board. Then you'll take a certain number of hunters, seals, boats, and um, whales, and uh, I think it's uh, five of the seals and 10 of everything else, mix them all up and then place them around these plus buttons. After that, you'll take the blank tokens or tiles and place them all the way around the board until it basically fills up the board completely with just kind of like the edges of the tiles outside of the rim here, which means there's no other way you can place a tile on the board without it falling off. And after that, you're going to go ahead and place all your seal tokens on the seal icebergs, and you'll take all your hunters and place them on all the hunter tiles. Place all the rest of the extra uh, ice uh, tokens or acrylic tokens or tiles uh, around the board here you'll have extra seals, you're gonna have extra hunters for when the hunters fall off, and of course the blank pieces. Then choose a player to go first. The first player is going to take two tiles of their choice outside of the surrounding board here and place it onto the board by sliding it in by pushing it in any one direction. And then when you do that you're going to push it all the way until the tile directly fully fills the board. Once that happens you will do that again and again uh, and, and that will be all three times. Now, you're also gonna always check to see, did any uh, tiles fall off that have the hunter, the seals, uh, the boats, or the whales? And if that's not the case, you can keep going. So in this case, I can go ahead and slide another one. And whenever you play your first turn of the game, it's just going to be two. But for every turn after that, it will be three. So first turn, slide one, slide two, pass and the next player will get a chance to go and then they're going to select any tiles that have fallen press plus the previous ones that were already available and they will slide them onto the board by pushing them forward in one direction once they get it all the way on they will do that again and then they're going to do it again right after that i'll go ahead and take this one here and push it now your objective in the game is to get five points. And the way you do that is by having hunters or boats fall off the board. When they do, you'll collect the token or the tile and put it in your reserve. Once you gather five of them, you win. However, if a seal or if a whale fall off, at any point when you're placing one of these tiles down, your turn will end. And if you gathered a hunter or if you gathered a boat at that time, you do not get it. However, if you did get it on a previous placement, you would get to keep it. But basically, these guys will just stop you from continuing to play. Remember to leave all the tiles on. They don't stay, they don't go off the board until they literally fall off of the board. And players will just keep taking turns, gathering three of these of your choosing, pushing them onto the board, collecting any of the hunters and boats, and ending their turn whenever a seal or a whale falls off of the board. If you ever place another hunter tile on the board or a seal tile on the board, make sure you use the extra reserve supply uh, to place them down onto the board and push them along with it just like that. 
otherwise though that's basically how you play the game ice flows and foes can you gather five points before anybody else let's find out after my review so the first thing to note about this game is that it is a prototype and it will be changed uh, the variants will be a lot different the board itself will be whole uh, the pieces of course will be higher uh, quality and I'm guessing as well that all of the acrylic uh, ice will actually have the hunters and seals uh, basically etched on as opposed to just stickers here so expect a higher quality version of the game when you purchase it. Uh, this game here is a dexterity game, but it's very different. The first thing I thought of when I was putting this game together and reading the rules, I thought of the old Nickel Nickel Arcade. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it was an old arcade area or arcade uh, store where you'd spend some money and get nickels and you'd use those nickels to play games. And for any of you that are my age or older, you'll know what these arcades look like. And in this arcade or arcades, you basically gonna have these coins. You'll drop them down and they'll fall down this little lever into a bat of or a vat of additional coins and the coins will be pushing each other off of one grid onto another and thusly pushing even more and then hopefully getting those coins into the area um this like little bowl area and as many coins as you can push uh, with the coins you're using out into like this bowl will score you tickets and you can use the tickets to buy prizes and that's kind of how this game functions you'll be taking these pieces pushing them in the direction you want them to go removing the ice from certain locations and placing them uh, onto the you know falling them onto the floor and you, of course you want to avoid certain certain things and kind of get other things to fall in the right locations and that makes the idea of the game even more dexterous and strategic you don't simply push and hope to push as much as you can off you want to make sure you push the right things off and there's a bunch of different choice <laughs> tiles that can fall off that can benefit you you don't ever want to push a hunter off and push a seal off or a whale in a boat or any combination thereof. You always want to, to protect the wildlife, leaving them on the board and remove the hunters and remove the fishing boats because those are what is kind of messing with the Antarctic areas here. And that is how you're going to score points. Gathering five combinations of those things will have you win. And it's very straightforward, very simple. This is probably their most uh, non-complex game out there that they have, uh, but a game that I really Really, really enjoyed because not only does it give me that sense of nostalgia from the old arcades but it's also something so unique i've never played a game where you're actually utilizing the pushing method that i remembered when i was a kid and of course the added aspect of only wanting to take certain pieces off, the, off of the board and not others the game is always set up to where the main pieces you're going to want to get rid of or keep on the border in the middle and all the extra pieces kind of surrounding it don't do anything and then the ones that are directly in the middle give you a bonus turn which is really nice as well when they fall off of the board and of course you have the option to put any of the pieces that have fallen off back onto the board provided they have not been fallen off at any point during that specific turn thusly allowing you to utilize maybe a bigger piece or maybe you want to use a smaller piece that's kind of more angular or maybe a thinner longer piece you have all these kind of options and maybe you're afraid that you're going to push things off that you don't want to and so you can kind of choose smaller pieces and you always have to push them all the way onto the board um, but that gives it kind of a unique twist to it and of course the player who's more capable of doing that is going to win but the game is one of those things where you progressively will advance and understand the games complexities as you play it more and more little kids are going to really enjoy this game this is one of those things that i think is instantly going to become a game that kids are going to want to try and play it reminds me of things like don't break the ice or games that involve pulling those sticks out and keeping the marbles on but it has its own unique twist to it which is all about sliding pieces onto a board i love acrylic and i love the feel of placing them on the board it's always nice to be able to take these and kind of see what happens because it's always going to be different you're never going to you're not always going to exactly get what you want in this game no matter how strategic you are just because you don't really understand how all the tiles move but you will learn progressively and you'll get better at it over time which is really cool if you want a game that involves dexterity a little bit of competition a game that's family friendly easy to learn and easy to set up this is the game for you if you don't like dexterity games you don't want something that's a little more on the family thing side or the kids side of things if you want something that's probably a little more mid to heavyweight this is probably not going to be for you additionally at some point even the best laid plans will come to a grinding halt in this game and you might not get what you want no matter how strategic you are just because you don't really understand how all the tiles are going to push each other which is part of the fun and the randomness of the game so be aware of that but there's no negative concerns i have remember to place the board on top of the box when playing the game so the pieces fall all the way off but otherwise a greatly enjoyable game the one thing i would hopefully recommend i don't know if they'll have on the kickstarter or not is to increase the amount of different types of tiles 
that can be presented in the game. Maybe some stretch goals would be nice to see some other types of animals or some other types of poachers that have unique abilities that happen when they fall off. They give you additional actions that you can take. But I really do like the fact that you actually will take three of these pieces on your turn and push them. So you're not just pushing one. So you'll get to kind of utilize multiple pieces to push on the board. But it would be kind of nice to see some additional actions coming from, forth from placing pieces onto the board as well as additional pieces that fall off new unique actions for the game. But otherwise, you're getting what you uh, see in this game. You understand exactly what it's going to be like. It's one of those things where uh, I can tell you it's a good family-friendly game, but you're going to have to jump on and, and try it yourself. For those of you who have that nostalgia for those old nickel games, those old quarter games where it pushes things off, this is one I would not uh, I would not look past. I would definitely take a look at it and decide for yourself if it's something you want to pick up. But for me, this is a solid pickup. I am really excited to see what it's finished. I, I would actually back this game personally uh, because of the nostalgia factor and because I know it's going to turn out re looking really nicely when it's fully done. Obviously with the prototype, the board itself is, you know, there's certain things with it, but I'm not going to fault it on that because I know for a fact that this company in, in specific really uh, pushes the limits and makes their games look really nice when it all comes to fruition. Regardless though, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Is this something that hits the nostalgia factor for you? You know what I'm even talking about. Is it something you'd be interested in playing? Why or why not? with your kids and or other family members, ice, flows, and foes, but keep exploring games, a solid recommendation, especially for family fun. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Ice, Flows, and Foes. If you're interested, like I said, there's a link down below in the description for you guys to go ahead and back this game on Kickstarter. You can also go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. It will allow you to see more of our videos that we produce every day, Monday through Friday, and of course our live streams on Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, so you can see us play games literally just like this one. In fact, we did play this game on our live stream, and if you want to see gameplay of this game, then go ahead and check out the video from this previous week, so you can see if this is something that you would be interested in, and you can go ahead and pick it up if you would like to. Patreon members, thank you so much for supporting us. We greatly appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you guys on our live streams. That's all I got for you this time, guys, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time on the Ice Flow and, and Foes, of course, yeah. <laughs>